I feel a little dirty. I messed up in that last video and I went back and started to record where I messed up to the end and uh, so I lost track of how much time I was in that video and I ended up going over the 10 minute mark. I apologize profusely. All right, well, let's go ahead and run our little app here, make sure everything looks okay. So I'm gonna do an NPM start, make sure I'm in that front end folder. Same folder as the package.json is what we're shooting for. And then that's gonna pop up our windows. Now I'm gonna drop this in so we can see the changes reflected again. I'll, I'll just go half and half on this screen here. Okay, and we get an error, module not found, can't resolve this. Bootstrap, this is not what I was expecting at all. So let's go take a look at this and see what we can find out. Um, can't resolve this, now let's go back in again. So bootstrap slash, and we can see that dist in there, but I didn't notice it stopped IntelliSensing for us at some point, so CSS. Um, bootstrap, let's see what we can find, um, our node modules, bootstrap, is that where we're looking? We installed bootstrap, where does it end up? Let's do this, so import So dot slash, no, it's not there. Bootstrap slash dist. Slash CSS slash. Dot min dot js or C css what did i type before and i can't remember save that oh now it's working just fine <laughs> did i i must have typed something wrong did i type js before all right you can rewind i can't okay so let's we've got this in here and our website seems to be working okay. Now everything we've done up to this point has been to edit this app component. So we go into the app TSX and we put everything that we want to uh, in there, right? But it's important to know and it's very normal to create a bunch of different components that are gonna be on our screen and then assemble them somewhere to put in this app folder or this app uh, TSX file. And so for example, let's say every page in my whole app is going to have the same header. Well, I can come into the source file here and say, give me a new file, and I'm gonna call this one header.tsx. All right, so I get a whole new TSX file, which is a TypeScript file. Now obviously it's gonna not like stuff because I don't have anything in there yet. But let's say that this header is gonna consist of, um, so I'll, first of all, I'll call it function header, opening, closing, opening curly brace, closing curly brace, and then what's gonna come out of this in the end, well, first of all, I'm gonna to need to return something. So right now, we'll just return nothing. And um, then what's gonna come out of this in the end is to make this a component. Now, the way that we do that is we add in this little statement at the end that says export, default, and then the name of the, the component that we're building, so header in this case. So export default header semicolon and that way now if I save it's going to give me a different error but it'll get rid of that because the header now the component is going to be built that we can go use on our site somewhere all right so let's build a little header let's put something in these parentheses which is what it's not liking now now I went and found this little website so there's a website called free logo design dot org now you can go pick lots of these different things, but what is my company name? So I'm gonna put in here, Spencer Out is my company name. I'm gonna get started, it's gonna go build me some logos. It's 
It's going to take a minute. Oh, what? Let's create. All right, here we go. There's what I wanted. Okay, so here it's got a bunch of different logos and I can go through and choose one that, that seems to represent what I'm wanting to, I'm trying to find one here. Um, your slogan goes here. How do I get a slogan in there? I am confident that you, okay, now let's go this one, are sick of my voice by now. All right, perfect, I like it. So uh, let's go ahead and download this now. It's gonna want an email address here. No, yes? All right, download that, oh, here it is. So, Spencer. Um, the email address, of course, I'm going to use is the one that I use for all of my junk mail, spencerhilton at yahoo.com, which I have not checked in years. Download my logo. Yahoo used to be such a big thing. Okay, so now I've got my logo. So we pop that up. I come in. I'm going to rename this. Uh, rename. Uh, Spencer out logo.png. And I'm going to take and bring that into my public folder. All right, now we've got my little logo that I can use on my site. So back to the header, how do I get this logo in here? And we're gonna use a little import. So we import, and then we gotta go find it. So we give it a name, whatever we wanna call it, I'll just call it my logo, from, and then we're gonna go find that path. So dot slash takes us to that top level, and then I can say what I want is that logo. Now this is not that logo, this is a different logo. Do I need to have it in my source folder? Maybe it goes in my source folder, let's try it. All right, so let's try that. So dot slash Spencer out logo, there it is. Okay, so we'll bring that in. So that's coming into the file. And then on my return statement, I can go put in uh, the information that I want to for this particular uh, element. So I'm building this header component. So I'm going to have a few different things here. First of all, we're using the bootstrap uh, grid system. So I'm going to say that this is a header and the class name for this header is going to be a row. So we're going to put this in a row. All right. And then inside that, I'm going to have uh, a div with the class name. Now we're going to break this up. Now I want this, we're going to see how this looks and maybe we'll change it. But for now, I'm going to say this is a call for. All right. And then within that, um, so what I want to take up the for side is this uh, image that I've just built. And the source is going to be equal to, and then I'm going to bring in the component that I've just imported. So I say logo. All right. And then I can give it a class name is equal to logo. And then it's going to want an alt. So alt is going to be equal to logo as well. Okay, so I've got this little image now in my site. Okay, and then we're going to have another part that's going to be the, the so div class name. This is going to be our little welcome, whatever we're going to put there. And I'm just going to put the call, which means it's going to take up the rest of the column. So if I set that column to four in the beginning, remember that if I just say call now, it'll take whatever's left. And um, I'll say this is a subtitle. Subtitle. Okay. And then I got to put some sort of, uh, uh, what's it called? <laughs> uh, I can't think of the word because I'm looking at the time and it's, I'm running out quickly. My, my slogan, all right? My slogan in there, which I'm going to do instantly. Voila, full stack react and .net, which we'll see if this even works in the next video. Spencer out.